think the biggest challenge is how to make the most of it. So what can feminists be doing to stimulate women to populate all these new spaces with their own visions and their own versions and to fertilise their own imaginations and desires in ways that challenge some of the status quo, challenge some of the images they're receiving. So the internet space is so full of other kinds of images of women. I think the big challenge for feminists is to get in there and, and to begin to create new possibilities or engage new audiences. I think we need to interrogate the idea of technophobia amongst women as a bit of a myth. I think there are lots of women who are really into technology and as soon as they get technology in their hands and figure out how easily it can be used, they can begin to use it. I think the issue is quite often for women having a chance to get, a chance to, to get the technology. So I think we need to question on the one hand any kind of naturalised assumptions about women and on the other hand there's a lot of work to be done to put those means of representation in women's hands. And especially now, things have become so much easier, so much more accessible. I think some of the old technophobia might be, oh, it's, it's all so complicated. Things aren't that complicated. It's possible to use it. But I think one of the issues is then to what extent the means of communication are written versus verbal and visual. And I think one of the most powerful possibilities of all these new media is the visual and, and, uh, visual and verbal as opposed to written, because I think the written forms of communication you can end up with the same power dynamics and the same forms of exclusion and the same kind of feelings of marginalisation or feeling unable to participate um, as in the old forms of written communication. So that's one of the dimensions of it. But I think we needn't be scared of the tech, we need to take it and, and do things with it.